So the election, as I stated, is coming up very shortly. And I want to talk about one candidate in particular, Herschel Walker. Now, if evangelicals were actually serious about their belief that abortion equals murder, then Herschel Walker, the fact that he paid for two abortions now, in fact, he pressured at least one of those women into getting an abortion that she didn't want to have, that should be a non-starter for them because he committed murder. Did he not? I mean, in their view, abortion is tantamount to murder. So why would they support a murderer like Herschel Walker? Well, let's ask them. This is from uh, The Good Liars, and they speak to a Herschel Walker supporter. They get the views on abortion and Herschel Walker. And as you're going to see, a little bit of a contradiction here. You think abortion is, is, is murder? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, because... So, so do you think that, that Herschel Walker is a, is a murderer if he paid for an abortion? Well, like I said, we've all done bad things. I mean, well, murder is, is, you know, that's yeah, one of the worst you could do, right? Warnock can't repent of his sins, but... Uh, I mean, Warnock, Warnock. totally unrelated to, to Raphael Warnock. If, if Herschel Walker paid for an abortion and you think abortion is murder, does that not make him a murderer? It, you know, it, it's according to what you want to call murder. I mean, if you see somebody breaking in your house and you kill him, is that murder? You know, if you, if he, if you accidentally run well, into somebody... Is, is, abor- know, is abortion murder? Well... If you do that, a premeditated taking of life, I think it, that is murder. Premeditated taking of innocent okay, life so, is murder. Okay, so that, by your definition, if, if the allegations are true, he was a murderer. And, and, but that's okay with you because he repented. Well, what is, well, what is sin is sin. I mean, some <laughs> sins are more long-lasting. You think abortion is, is I is love murder. how towards the end he's just laughing in his face. What we're seeing here is cognitive dissonance. It's peak mental gymnastics. And it, it's so funny because they just they can't live by the standards that they're espousing, right? I mean, abortion is murder, but I'm willing to support this person who committed murder on numerous occasions. I mean, by their standards, Herschel Walker is a serial killer. So what this tells me is that they don't actually believe that abortion is murder because nobody who's a reasonable person believes that abortion is murder. That's comical. So this is just proof. This is validation of what we've been saying, that these people are full of shit. Other people have made the point that if you really thought that abortion was murder, then you wouldn't just protest outside of abortion clinics. You would go in there and save those lives because in the event you knew that you could stop somebody from dying, right? And they were in a building and somebody, I don't know, was holding a knife to their throat. And you could go in there and convince that person to put down the knife or you could stop them aggressively from stabbing that person. Wouldn't you do it if you could? I mean, so these people are just they don't think it's murder. But this isn't the only individual who's willing to, uh, I guess, forgive Herschel Walker. So this is a quick video of what a Herschel Walker um, supporter is going to say about the newest accusations that he paid for another abortion matter to you if it's true or not no as long as he is um, had a change of heart I mean we all do things when we're young naive he's an adult now the matter to you if it's okay when he paid for these abortions he was like 50 like (laughs) it's not it's not like he was 16 years old and he was like Okay, I'm just too young to have this child. Look, you've got to get the abortion. I know that you don't want it, but you've got to do it. He was like 50 years old. So what are we talking about here? Again, these people do not care, okay? They don't care that he committed murder by their standards, which means they don't believe that abortion is murder because nobody does who's a reasonable person. Like this whole Christian view that, oh, well, well, we're all sinners, And all you have to do is uh, repent. But not all sins are equal. There are mortal sins that you are unable to repent from. And you can apologize. But basically that goes on your permanent record with regard to the Lord. That's what I was taught anyway as a Christian. That some sins, I mean, you can ask for forgiveness. But if you keep committing that act, there's a certain point to where God is not going to be as forgiving to you. So one abortion, two abortion, probably other abortions that he had. You know, is that really something that a real Christian would have when he's like 50? Not that long ago, believe it or not. But um, yeah, I mean, Herschel Walker's supporters, they just genuinely don't care. It's all about team sports. 
And I love this story because it just proves that they never thought abortion was murder. They just want to control what women do with their bodies, period, end of story. This is Pastor Jamal Bryant going off on Herschel Walker, and this is so satisfying to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, when the Republican Party of Georgia moved Herschel Walker from Texas to Georgia so that he could run for Senate, it's because change was taking too fast in the post antebellum South. The state had been flipped blue and there are some principalities that were not prepared for a black man and a Jewish man to go to Senate at the exact same time. So they figured that they would delude us by picking somebody who they thought would in fact represent us better with a football than with a degree in philosophy. They thought we were so slow, that we were so stupid, that we would elect the lowest caricature of a stereotypical broken black man as opposed to somebody who is educated and erudite and focused. Y'all ain't ready for me today. Since Herschel Walker was 16 years old, white men been telling him what to do telling him what school to go to, where to live, where to eat, where to buy a house, where to run, where to sit down, where to sleep, where to pay for abortions, where to buy a gun. And they, you think they not going to tell him how to vote? In 2022, we don't need a walker. We need a runner. We need somebody who going to run and tell the truth about January 6th. We need somebody who going to run and put for the cancellation of student loan debts. We need somebody who gonna run and make the former president respond to a subpoena. We don't need a walker. We need somebody who will be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding, knowing that your labor is not in vain. Georgia, I need you to know the slave Negroes y'all are used to don't live here no more. We we can think for ourselves, function for ourselves, and vote for ourselves. Why? Because we don't need a walker. Damn. Listen, I've got to say, I haven't been to church in a very long time, and the thought of setting foot in any church makes me sick to my stomach. I would watch his sermon. That's how good that was. That was such a good rant. So Herschel Walker needed to be dragged like this. Um, and everybody has kind of shit on him, but it just it doesn't hit as hard as uh, his speech. He, he just he he hits on all the right notes. It's so good. 